imagine you're on a very intense journey. There's a lot of twists and turns and surprises along the way. It requires everyone on your team to be bringing out the best that they've got. Yet, half of your leadership is ill-equipped to handle conflict. What happens? Well, confusion, withdrawal, frustration. In this video, I am going to share with you the latest research about leadership and conflict. And then, so you want to listen all the way to the end, then I'm going to give you three insights that will really open your eyes around the topic of leadership and conflict. So you're not going to want to miss those. I'm Karen Balencic and I am the author and founder of Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. And I've been working for three decades with leaders and their teams. DDI just recently published their study where they looked at 700,000 emerging leaders from all over the world and what they found is that 49% of those leaders could not demonstrate good conflict management skills. And only 12% of those people were masters with conflict. Why does that even matter? Well, there's some really high stakes in business that point to your ability to manage and to master conflict. And those stakes are, you will have less turnover, which means you'll make more money. You will have more engagement from your people, which means that you'll have better innovation. And you as a leader, you'll have less stress because you have the skill to handle things when things aren't going well. Those are all big game changers when it comes to our satisfaction and our capability to be a leader. There's a recent study done by Stanford University and Miles that indicated that 43% of CEOs said that conflict resolution was a skill that they wanted to continue and be better at. So it is at every level in business. What I'd like to share with you here are three insights that I'd, I'd like you to think about. The first insight, there is a huge misunderstanding often of what conflict management or conflict resolution looks like. And it is often confused with confrontation. And that is a really a bad mistake because even the most dominant personalities don't so much like confrontation. And confrontation is one of the least effective ways of dealing with conflict. Confrontation is when you go face to face, toe to toe with somebody. And it's, it's a little bit like fighting. Who wants to do that? Well, there are many other effective ways of dealing with conflict that will actually bring out the best in people. They're easier for you as a leader to implement and it creates a great ways of bringing great ideas forth for innovation. One of those ways, of course, is my spiral impact method. Insight number two, leaders make assumptions, particularly around these two things. One is they assume often that they should have all the answers. And that is just not true. And actually, if a leader thinks that they have all the answers, they probably aren't a very effective and they are probably not doing a great job for their organization because they can't have all the answers. When they can learn to ask questions, it engages people and makes for a much better environment. And it's not such a stressor on them. The other assumption that leaders make is when they watch people's behavior, they make assumptions about their motivation. And I will tell you, almost always when you make assumptions about what somebody else is doing, you are often wrong. And I, I take that to the bank. Number three is actually kind of almost obvious, which is a lot of leaders, a lot of people, just don't have good skills when it comes to conflict. They want to avoid it. They don't, they don't know what to do with it. And the reason that is, in my observation, is a lot of people come to the workplace and they have learned their conflict skills from their family, which more often than not is not very functional. They learn it from the media and they learn it from our entertainment. And just think about that. Media and entertainment, they make their money 
on dysfunctional conflicts. So if you're taking the lead from those sources, you will fail in business. Keep that in mind. Do you have good skills? Do you, have you studied this? I'm going to do a plug for myself here and I want you to refer to resources below. I have spent three decades actually creating a system. There are systems that you may have learned, but they're difficult. They're difficult to grasp. They're difficult to implement. Ever try to learn how to say an I statement? And that, that actually stumbles people up a lot and they're done incorrectly. I have created this spiral impact method and I have changed it, evolved it over three decades of actually working with people. And it's a much easier system to implement. And not only that, when you deal with conflict from a spiral impact way, what happens is you actually create less resistance. You create more of a feeling of freedom and flow and focus for yourself and for all those people that you're working with. I invite you to check out below this video. I have my book, which is a very much a how-to book. And I also have uh, virtual programs and coaching available as well. Hey, thank you. I'd love to hear your comments and I look forward to some, some maybe exchange with you. And until next time, Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.